All right, so here is everything. Technical difficulties. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I know. I'm sorry it bothers me so bad. Oh, it's coming all the like all the way. Baby then broke the drawer. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Rashida and I'm a stay at home, work from home mom of four children. We have Giselle, Malachi, Nasir, and Naomi. And here on this channel, we like to provide you with all types of motivation. We have cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, mommy motivation, just realistic motivation to help you get you through your day, week, month, and year. So if that is something that you're interested in, please consider joining our family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you will not miss and upload. As you can tell by the title, today we are going to be doing some laundry motivation. This is not going to be my typical video, what I'm normally used to doing as far as laundry motivation. Normally, you'll see me sort clothes and wash, dry, fold, put up, all that. But today, it's going to be a little bit different. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to be catching up on. As you can see, all that laundry that was in my room, trust me, is more to come and you'll see it but I also want to do some things in the closet on top of you know putting all this stuff up today we are going to be doing some minor things back in the boys closet I had did some organizational items before So yeah, as you can see, there are a lot more things. I just, I couldn't keep up. I got everything washed, so keep in mind that this is all clean clothes. It's just, I've never gotten a chance to like fold it and put it up. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. And then I'll explain a little bit more uh, of what the other tasks that I want to accomplish today. But right now, what I wanna do is just get all this folded and sorted. I like to do it all and put it all in one central location because I know exactly how much stuff I have. I know a lot of people like to do it load by load, but in this case, I just had to get everything together and I'm going to sort it out by child. It just makes it easier for me to put it up that way. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess 
she know now Baby I took a half and she took the whole thing Slow down Baby We took a trip, now we on your block And it's like a ghost town everything folded and separated like by kid i'm gonna start with the girls and i'm just gonna be hanging their stuff up so i got nay stuff right here and then giselle stuff right there i'm gonna go ahead and hang their stuff up first and then i'll do what's needs to go in their drawers because the main focus of today what i want to get done is organize the boys clothes let me show you now, I know you guys remember when I did this closet, when we added these rods here. Okay, but now I want to add a shelf up top. I kind of put it, I just placed it up there. So, of course, it's like falling back now. <laughs> but I placed it up there just to make sure that one, it fits from wall to wall. And two, it was enough for me to hang their extra um, comforters up there. And that way I can get rid of, you see, I even got one on the floor. There's sheets I can put back in and make a little bucket or a cubicle and put it up there as well, depending on, you know, the comforter situation, if they can stack on top of each other. Or anyways, I want to hang this. I got these little brackets here to hang it. So we're going to be hanging that. But not only that, I'm just going to have to deal with it. I know, but like the Mitch Matt hangers. I'm sorry, it bothers me so bad. So I'm gonna take these out and he's gonna have all, like, first of all, his clothes are bigger. So he needs the bigger hangers, which mostly he has. Cause when I was putting it up, I was kind of doing it. And as I went on doing laundry, I've been putting them on there, but I figure it's just time to go ahead and do the rest. I also wanna, I know this is extra y'all, but if you remember their closets, in Michigan, the girls and the boys, I had it color coded, not color coded, color organized. Anyways, put it together by color because it just makes it easier for me. I ain't even, we not even gonna make excuses. I just like when things look uniform. So that's what I want to do in here. And then it also helps so they won't be wearing the same color all week. But like I said, we're not gonna make excuses because I know that it's just an excuse. Anyways, so um, they're also like I can tell by the lengths of the shirts that some of these just need to go. So as I'm color coordinating it, color coordinate. Yeah, that's it. Did I say that? Probably didn't. But as I'm color coordinating, color coordinating it, this and Nasir's because his hangers, oh my God. But I'm not going to go out and just buy new hangers. So we're just going to have to do with what we got with Nasir. But as far as Malachi's he's getting all the big hangers because his clothes are falling off the small hangers anyways as I'm doing it I'm gonna go through and look at sizes so I can make a donation pile so we can see if we just need to purchase anything for like the upcoming season um yeah so we're gonna do that um I'll probably do I know fits doesn't fit and needs to try on pile and then they'll try on um, that pile a little bit later. I know that some of the pants that most of the pants they gonna have to try on because I put a pair of pants on a seer the other day, babe. 
you might as well just call them long shorts because it was a mess. But anyways, so the plan in here is shelf, color coordinate, color coordinate, declutter. And one thing else I need to do in here is Malachi's drawer. Like you can see both of them pops out because those are so rough. But look at all this in here. Like the little bottom is coming out. So I have to go in and like figure that out. I don't know. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's go ahead and get started with the girls. And yeah, let's just get started because clearly we got a lot to do. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do if I told you I know this closet of hers needs some organization But baby, that's not what the goal is today, okay? It's, it's not I'll probably do like a short A film a short for this because yeah, no. Um, not today. Sorry. <laughs> you are beautiful. Would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world. But I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say, I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. Now if I wrote you a love note And make you smile at every word I wrote What would you do? Would that make you want to change your scene? What's the point in waiting anymore? Cause girl, I've never been more sure the baby, it's you This ring here represents my heart And everything that you've been waiting for Just say I do Because 
hands. I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You can be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. Another so woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. two of the studs are since we got the boss up oh no it's stuck what do I do Technical difficulties. appeasing but is that okay and the board is warped so it was a little bit difficult trying to 
you know, match up the brackets or whatever, but we got it up and I think it's stable enough for me to go ahead. The only thing that I'm putting up here anyway is like comforters and sheets. So I think it should be fine. I mean, I just, I really don't like how it look with the brackets, but it's going to be fine. It's fine. So I'm going to put, first of all, I need to wipe up there and then I'm going to go ahead and put the comforters and sheets up there. See how, how we're looking. Smart. So we got the shelf up. Now comes the fun part. I am going to be color coordinating the closet. Oh, princess. <laughs> so, um, here's the game plan. I need to get these blue hangers out. Yeah, get the blue hangers out. And then I think I'm going to go from light to dark. So that's the game plan for my archive. So I think I want to color coordinate first and then go through. Or I can do it simultaneously. I'm not sure. I just want to color co coordinate. So, yeah, let's just get started. Not out, make my heart beat. Leave no one else. You're all I need. Personality. Everything you do. It's me love. Everything about you.
because it's done just look so much better to me i did went ahead and took some of the shirts out and just put them down here because they're two years apart so <laughs> whatever don't fit him nine times out of ten it's going to fit nasir so i just went ahead and moved them down to nasir's and this is what his is looking like i need to wait for him to try on his pants later um but i'll probably do that off camera because i don't remember the last time i did this but i feel like it was recently so i don't know we'll see um but yeah let me go ahead and do this one i feel like this one's gonna be more of a challenge because it's so many different color hangers it's like two different blues well three different blues you got some whites he got some big hangers uh, i just don't know um it's not gonna look as aesthetic as this because like i said i'm not about to go out and buy more hangers just for them to all be one color i would love it but i'm just not gonna do that not at this time i can't promise that in the future but right now i mm, yeah i'm not doing it so let me go ahead and get this organized i know half of his pants got to go because i see like three pair in there right now and i'm just like i know you don't fit those no more yeah okay let's do it all right got in sears done as well color coordinated it just looks so much better to me i just i don't know what it is y'all i like it anyways we're done with that um i think it's done on me i don't know if when i did my closet the closet organization one for in here i don't know if i showed y'all like the final final like things can always change but let me give you like a quick little tour i guess of their closet if anyone cares so when you first walk in the door i have this wall here and i just put their hats the pac-man um sign that they had in their room in michigan and then i have this nine um cubicle organizer and i just put their shoes um in there and then i just hang their belts right there i also put the towels in their closet because it's right right beside the bathroom so it's just easier for everybody just to come in here before they go in the bathroom and do that so i got the towels and the rags and then i still got sheets at the bottom even though i said i want the sheets up here in this cubicle but i don't know i'm kind of debating it now i don't know if i want to put this cubicle and put it down here and then use that space for like smaller blankets i'm not sure yet but we're gonna see how it works out because this is a little bit higher than i was expecting so it's like trying to reach that like every time i gotta wash sheets i don't know i don't know how i feel about it but i feel like it's easier to get the comforters down but the bucket i don't know so that might be coming down and i might just put blankets up there but okay so you got towels wash rags extra sheets and then of course you got their clothes malachi's and nasir's then over here is nasir's um dresser so it is white i said that i wanted to like redo it like paint it spray paint it put a stencil on it change the knobs i'm not sure that's a project for another day um so you got his stuff up here and then i got this little metal thing like it matches the one in their room uh, i think in the room it's just soccer and skateboard no football and skateboard so he got the basketball one on his and of course we got dirty clothes mm -mm, not today not today we just got finished putting up autumn clothes not today okay then we have malachi's here this is his dresser and his stuff and then i actually put a mirror above his um, we're probably going to be changing out these sconces pretty soon just not today <laughs> so yeah that is the tour of their closet it's very functional it's very roomy and it can house everything that they need plus more okay so the last thing that i'm gonna do now is go ahead and try to figure out this drawer i don't understand how it popped out but i'm gonna see if i can take it out i feel like last time i had such an issue trying to take out see all the stuff is falling through i'm gonna to probably take these out and wash them i might as well just go ahead and do that now honestly, because like what 
the projects are never ending okay i'll get the vacuum for that but um i think i had a, a trouble getting this drawer out before oh it's coming all the like all the way why is it doing that okay let's try to figure this out Okay, figured it out. I just had to take it out and pop it back in place. And it's because this boy was stuffing everything in here. I knew he had a lot of stuff in here, but he was literally like, it was a piggy bank full of change in here. It was a lot of like artwork that he had did, little scrap pieces of paper that he wanted to keep, toys, jewelry. It was like a whole bunch of stuff in here. So I'm gonna have to tell him that the only thing he can keep in here now is these his Pokemon cards and his money everything and then you know this is his sock drawer so but other than that, that mm -mm. why why are you keeping this all this stuff in his drawer like he has so many places in his room now that he can store his own personal stuff that he doesn't have to share with anybody i can think of three different places and i'm just like okay i'm gonna have to remind you because maybe then broke the drawer but anyways got that fixed so that is it for today's video i do have a couple more things i need to do um like match up all the socks but i think i'm gonna let the kids go ahead and do that because they enjoy doing that so i'm gonna let them match up the socks so yeah that is it for today's video it might not seem like it was a lot but we definitely got a lot accomplished i got to color coordinate the boys clothes i got all my laundry um like folded and put up in drawers hung up I still have laundry to do, but that's just a never anything. It's never going to not be laundry. So uh, I'm still proud of and proud. Yes, I still am proud of how much we got done today. So as always, I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.